So we're gonna get try to get the uh, prayer line on the line here. Because who doesn't need a prayer once in a while? We're here in the St. George Ferry Terminal where we found the last working payphone in the city of New York. Actually, it's not the last one we know because there's probably about 10 of them here in the ferry terminal, but it was fascinating to find them. When was the last time you know you saw uh, a working payphone anywhere? And if you come close, you can hear the sound. It's a dial tone. People who grew up with cell phones only don't know what a dial tone sounds like, but that's the noise you would hear when you would pick up the phone. That way you know the phone was working. Another interesting thing is here we found an actual phone number on the phone. It's actually a 442 number, which is a Staten Island exchange, a North Shore exchange. Um, you know, fellas, you remember sometimes you'd ask a girl for a phone number, she'd give you the phone number, you'd call up, it would be a pay phone or a non-working number. Well, you can still do that these days. Of course, now, phone, you know, the call cost you 50 cents. It used to cost you a dime, and I think it used to cost maybe 25 cents. And if you were on the phone a long time with somebody, you had to keep feeding money into the uh, phone. But the real fascinating thing we found about these phones that are in the, in the uh, St. George Ferry Terminal was you get a bunch of free calls. You know, uh, you can call the, uh, if you need help finding a job, you can call the Social Security office, you can call a couple of banks. I guess they must uh, do business with the uh, telecom company, and that's why you can call them for free. But the real fascinating one was dial star one zero and you can get a prayer said for you. You call the places in uh, Dallas, Texas, it's the Daystar Ministry, and you can call and you can actually talk to them. Of course, first they ask if you wanna make a pledge. Listen, they gotta do business too. But you know, they can call, they ask you for your name, and they ask you for uh, your zip code, they ask you what kind of prayer you need. So I thought that was a great thing. You're in a, maybe you're feeling not so great, maybe the weather is bad, you're coming to the ferry terminal, you can get something uplifting. So we're gonna get, try to get the uh, prayer line on the line here. Because who doesn't need a prayer once in a while? It's ringing. It's ringing. You know, sometimes it's a machine that answers. Thank you for calling the Ministry. How may I help you? Yeah, hi. I um, was passing a, a payphone here in New York City, and I saw that I could call and get a, a prayer said for me over the telephone. Can you help me with that? Yes, sir. And your name? Oh, my name is Tom. And I'm, uh, oh, Tom. I'm, I'm in the ferry terminal, yeah. Okay, Tom, this is uh, the, the, on the payphone, somebody has connected our prayer line with uh, that system. Right. And this is actually Daystar Television. We are here in Dallas, Texas. Okay. And we will be, uh, I will be more than happy to pray with you. If you have any special prayer requests, you can uh, let me know or I will pray for you. No, just something in general. I'm just kind of a little low energy today here, and the weather is kind of bad. So I just thought, just something a little pick me up. That's all. Okay, let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before the throne room of Thy grace with my brother Tom and Father. I thank you. Your promises call unto me, and I'll answer thee and show the great and mighty thing. And Father, as you are promised, uh, Lord, we pray that you bless Tom in every. Anyway, fascinating, working pay phones in the city of New York. They still exist. This is Tom Robleski, the senior opinion writer for the Staten Island Advance.